a thread by Brian Cates. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, buttholes just puckered up all over DC. Secretary Pompeo tweeted about an hour ago from the making of this video, the State Department will henceforth request think tanks that accept money from foreign governments disclose this information to the public. The purpose is simple, to promote free and open dialogue untainted by the machinations of authoritarian regimes. Brian continues, remember, acting as a paid foreign agent without having registered is a crime. Nobody's really enforced it until they went after Trump's campaign over it. I've been writing about this for years, how think tanks and media organizations take massive amounts of foreign money without disclosing to the public how it influences the policies they recommend to US legislature. The EpochTimes.com, you can't put America first until Washington foreign bribery industry has been brought to a halt. China is the number one threat. The amount of money they pump into US think tanks, academic institutions, and into news media outlets inside the US is staggering. The Epic Times, the paid propaganda as news scam. Other big players in the massive foreign bribery disguised as think tank policy or news media coverage scam are Qatar, Iran, Saudi Arabia, some factions inside it, and Russia. If you've been taking money from a foreign regime to push policy in DC through think tanks or pay for published news media, you're a damn foreign agent. And the fact people haven't been made to register until now has been a travesty. Yes, Pompeo used the word request. Because guess what's gonna happen if the think tanks, universities, and media outlets won't voluntarily disclose the money they've been taking from regimes like the Chinese Communist Party, the State Department, is going to publicly out them. That's how it will start. During Trump's second term, you'll see Pompeo roll out the receipts and you're going to be able to see exactly how much filthy lucre this think tank, that university or the, that media outlet over there was taking from China. This is a warning shot. Pompeo is politely requesting these people start following federal law. If they don't, there is no reason whatsoever not to begin massively embarrassing them by fully revealing just how much money they were taking in from foreign sources and not disclosing. Given what's about to happen to Hunter Biden, Devin Archer, and everybody else involved in the massive Ukraine corruption in Ukraine, I don't think this will be a long grace period. I will be the greatest president that God ever created.